Hello, Randy Hawthorne here, executive editor of Nonprofit Hub. Welcome to today's talk. And today I have with me Andrea Kilstead, and we're going to be talking a little bit about capital campaigns. Andrea, what got you interested in working on capital campaigns? Oh, Randy, I've been in capital campaign business my whole fundraising career. That uh, goes back a long way. And I think what, is, what pulled me into it and what has kept me in it is that, is that they have a big impact and you can do them in a very structured way. So, so it always appealed to me that rather than having to go to thousands of donors for small gifts, I could wrap my arms around the idea of going to 20 donors and raising millions of dollars. I could somehow grab that. <laughs> so uh, give us a couple of tips that, that if I'm just getting started, I've never seen a capital campaign, tell me, tell me what I should do. Sure, well, many capital campaigns, as you probably know, raise a lot of money for buildings or for special projects that somehow boost an organization from one level of operation to the next. There are some things that, that characterize every capital campaign. They have clear goals. They have outsized dollar goals. They raise money, uh, probably about half the goal or more in 10 gifts. So no matter how big the goal, that you raise that money from a relatively few people. And there is a specific order of solicitation. That is that you raise the money from the top down, from the largest donors down to the smaller donors. And there's a particular time frame and way of thinking about that that makes it work. So would you recommend, um, as, you're, as you're thinking about this, that you have those top donors pretty much identified before the general public knows? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You, you know, you need to know, you need to have built relationships with those top donors before you go into a capital campaign. And when is it a, not a, a good idea to call it a capital campaign? Yeah, so, there, you know, sometimes people do what I call capacity campaigns. Those aren't building campaigns, but they do move the organization up to the next level. It's not a good idea to redress your annual fundraising, your recurring fundraising for general operations and call that a capital campaign because it's not. What makes capital campaigns work is that you go to the same donors who are your loyal tried and true donors and you ask them for special gifts over and above their annual operating gifts to help your organization move to the next level of service. So just raising money for your annual fund through a capital campaign isn't likely to work. Well, thank you so much, Andrea, for your, your knowledge today around capital campaigns. And thanks to all of you for tuning in to today's talk. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels at Nonprofit Hub. We are all about community. So if you follow us, we'll return the favor and we want to know more about you. We love to celebrate those everyday wins. So if you have a success story that you would like to share best practices, we would love to hear from you. Your story may be featured on a future Today's Talk. So thanks again for joining us today and we'll see you soon at Nonprofit Hub. Thanks for doing good work in our world.